American Top 40. Now the number three song in this week's American Top 40. It's by a young man who was born in Boston, raised in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, who very possibly can thank the Beatles for saving him from a career as a respectable physician and giving him a boost on his way to fame and riches. This artist's father is the dean of the School of Medicine at the University of North Carolina. But in spite of all the normal pressures on him to follow the family tradition in a medical career, he decided to take one good shot first at doing his own thing. So instead of going to medical school, he went to Greenwich Village in New York and got involved in the music scene. It was there that a producer for the Beatles' Apple Records discovered him. And although the first and only album on Apple wasn't a success, it gave him the start he needed. His second album, Sweet Baby James, is on the Warner Brothers label, and it's number five this week on the LP charts. From it comes his current hit single, Fire and Rain, number three this week on American Top 40. Here now is Sweet Baby James Taylor. Just yesterday morning, American Top 40. This next artist, a year ago last summer, had broken both his hands in a motorcycle accident. And for a singer who accompanies himself on a guitar, that's a bad way to be. But being in a bad way was not a new experience for this singer. He'd been in worse ways than having his hands broken. There'd been times when he believed his mind was broken, when it got so bad that he committed himself to a mental hospital in Massachusetts. That's where he met Susan, and they made plans. Plans they never kept because she killed herself. That's what this song's all about. Here's James Taylor. Just yesterday morning, they let me know you were gone. Suzanne, the plans they made put an end to you. I walked out this morning and I wrote down this song. I just can't remember who to send it to. The hits from coast to coast. This is Casey Kasem on American Top 40, and it's time now for the number one song in the nation this week. It's by a singer-guitarist-composer who became suddenly and widely known in the summer of last year when his song Fire and Rain went to number three on the Billboard charts. But a year before that, he was on a record that hit number five. That was Smile a Little Smile for Me. And he was a member of the group that did it, The Flying Machine. But he's flown solo since then. Here's the number one song in America, You've Got a Friend, by James Taylor. After a couple of weeks at number three, it's now the best-selling song in the nation. At number one, James Taylor's You've Got a Friend. Well, that's it. The 40 top-selling songs in the nation this past week. AT40 is produced and furnished by Watermark Incorporated. Don Bastani writes and produces, and we tape the show here in Hollywood. This is Casey Kasem. I hope you'll join me next week, and we'll count down the 40 most popular songs in the USA. Till then, keep your feet in the ground, and keep reaching for the stars. the hit by the young pop star who gets as much respect from the establishment as he does from his own generation. A few months ago, he appeared at New York's Philharmonic Hall, which usually books the heavy talents of classical music. And Time magazine said he was right in his league. 
That's high praise for an artist who's only 22 years old. And he was practically unknown until a year and a half ago. In 1971, he sang a song that Carole King wrote, and it became the 17th biggest hit of the year. Here's James Taylor. You've got a friend. When you're down. American Top 40. Well, now on AT40, I have the highest debuting record of the week by an artist who got his start as a protege of the Beatles. He seemed to have everything going for him. Talent, looks, and the full support of the quartet with the Midas touch. He was discovered in New York by a good friend of the Beatles, producer Peter Asher, who was working for the Beatles label Apple Records at the time. And when Peter played the singer's music for the Beatles, they signed him up immediately and sent out the word they thought he was great. Now you'd think that that kind of endorsement would be a ticket to overnight success for any artist, but it was almost the kiss of death. Instead of soaring to the top of the charts, the singer-songwriter couldn't even get a record into the Hot 100. But both his first singles and his first album flopped miserably. So he took a second look at the situation and decided to change labels. He took his producer along with him, and just a few months later, they came up with a top five smash. That was Fire and Rain. Well, the artist is still good friends with the four ex-Beatles, and producer Asher is now his manager. And debuting at number 20 this week, with his ninth chart hit, is the man the Beatles couldn't help, James Taylor. His song, How Sweet It Is to Be Loved by You. How sweet it is to be loved by you. American Top 40. This is Casey. And now on American Top 40, the current hit by the superstar of rock, whose pet pig recently won first prize in a livestock show. It happened last month at the 110th Martha's Vineyard Agricultural Society Livestock Show and Fair. The swine division's blue ribbon went to a beautiful sow named Mona. But that's not all. She also won the purple ribbon for being the best animal in the entire show, which makes her owner prouder than a gold record would. These days, he's one of the best-known residents of that Massachusetts island where he and Mona live. And his latest hit single is number 32 this week. Here's super rock star and champion pig farmer, James Taylor. Long ago, a young man sits and plays his weight in American Top 40. This is Casey Kasem in Hollywood. This next song in the countdown is by a man who's earned a lot of respect as a songwriter during the 70s. And the interesting thing is that he wrote only one of his four biggest hits. That was his classic first hit, Fire and Rain, back in 1970. But he never lifted a pencil on his other three biggies. They are You've Got a Friend, Mockingbird, and this one, a number five smash of last summer. At number 69, here's James Taylor and How Sweet It Is to Be Loved by You. How sweet it is. In Hollywood, I'm Dave Roberts for Casey Kasem. Now we're up to the song by the superstar who believes he was saved from almost certain death by the female superstar he married. Since 1970, this artist has run up a string of million-selling singles and albums. He was a popular performer and became an important man in the business very fast. To all appearances, he had everything going for him. But the lifestyle he fell into with all of his success was a killer. This man is James Taylor. And in the story he tells, the person who saved him from the early death that hard drugs were leading to was his wife, Carly Simon. This is what James told writer Cameron Crowe. He said, My health was never good to begin with, and I was once in circles where it's the accepted thing to be killing yourself. I think Carly saved my life. She turned my life around to the extent that I won't die in ten years, or I might have before. End of quote. And so James Taylor acknowledges his wife, Carly Simon, for helping him get off the hard drugs that once threatened to bring an early end to his life. And since then, where it appears he has everything going for him, he has. Here's his latest hit called Her Town 2, up a notch to number 11 this week. It's a duet with J.D. Souther. Here's James Taylor. Casey's Coast to Coast. 